Yes. I've been expecting you. For as long as my memory can remember, a while back I did a part one of a Breath of the Wild playthrough that I wanted to try playing legitimately. Well now, that I finally have the power that is needed to play this gargantuous game, the time has come to return to our playthrough of Breath of the Wild. A lot of people thought that I had forgotten about this, but I did not. I remembered, and I wanted to, I was going to come back to this. Well, I got my 3060, and now, the moment has pre presented itself. We are here to finally continue our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Anything else for the intro, right? Just roll the actual intro at this point. Guys, your friend host, your Connor X Crash. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Thought we were playing this again? Think again. We're back. Um, why am I at 50 frames per second? You know what? It doesn't matter. I got 360. Who cares? I'm back. It's alright. It's fine. We're looking fine. See, look at the game. It's perfectly fine, and I have no way to get across. I can't get across! Oh, yeah, because last time I was I was literally stuck on this edge and I couldn't get across. And now I can get across. In the last episode, we never even got to the king yet. We actually were just stuck on this, trying to climb walls. And actually just constantly trying to get ourselves into the winter area, the snow area, the blizzard area, so we could try and get the net last, um, the last shrine, so we could actually meet the king himself. But no, we were just stuck here, and we couldn't even get past that part, so that's just great. You! You... <sighs> so now we're stuck here, trying to find our way across. Please don't run out of stamina. I can't see my stamina bar because my camera stand is in the way. Fight time, baby! Oh, yeah, I have no weapons. Alright, take it. I'm taking it. Fight! Fight to the death! Fight to the death! Fight! That's what we're talking about, baby. Oh, yeah. Got a shield, baby. That's what we're talking about, man. Let's go. Got myself a bow and arrow, too. Heck yeah, baby. Oh, heck yeah. 
Heck yeah. Okay, now we just gotta snip this dude. Can I snip this dude? I have no arrows. That's just lovely. So I literally gotta take him out by hand. Can I do it? I can do it! Oh, what do we get? 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 Nice! Alright, so I can cook right here, but I need to get stuff so I can actually cook. So let me go ahead and... Can I cook? I don't think I can cook anything. Yeah, I can. I need to cook something, though. Right? I need to find the old man. Where's the old man at? I need to cook something so I can get some armor, right? Yeah, so sort of armor I can get from him that I need to cook. So I need to find some fish. Let me go find some fish. But yes, I can't I can't believe we're finally back to playing this. I've been dying to dive back into this game, honestly. Watch him attack me for him. Oh, bro! Honestly, really excited to jump back into this game, though. For real. Like, this is a game I've been wanting to dive back into the channel. And now I can, now that I have a 360. Although, I am starting to consider not doing FNAF Security Breach um, as a video. I might just stream it on Twitch. Um, I'm still thinking about it. But let me know in the comments. Let me know if you guys still want me to do FNAF Security Breach. And I will try to get videos out as much as possible as the school year is moving forward. Um, because remember, since this is my senior year, I'm going to be very busy. So, just keep in mind... Not all videos will be able to get me out and that like there's not gonna be a consistent schedule for upload videos, so just keep that in mind. So I got I gotta go fishing somewhere. I don't know where I need to go fishing. I can't really go fishing. I got I gotta get arrows somewhere. That's what I know. Unless I gotta throw the spear at the fish. Probably what I'm gonna have to do is probably just yeah, straight up throw the spear at the fish. So I'm not gonna go attack people. I'm gonna go strip fishing for fish. So let's just go do that. And I can't glide on that because I don't have the glider. I'm not making the same mistake as I did the last video. No. No! My no! Get it. Get the spear. Get the spear. Get the spear. Get the spear. Good. I did not mean to do that. I am an idiot. Um, I don't think there's any fish here, so I might as well just go back out of here. Gosh damn, I wasted the throwing the spear. Okay, I hate to interrupt, but I just gotta say this. What the hell was I saying? Because I can barely understand anything that I've said so far in this video. And I'm editing this a month after recording this. And so literally, I, I don't know why I can't remember how to enunciate words. But I apologize if you can't understand a single gosh darn thing that I'm saying throughout this video. I apologize. And, um, yeah, that's all, pretty much all I have to say. Okay, back to the video. Alright, let's go ahead and take these dudes out. I'm not wasting this on here, though. I'm gonna waste my leaf on them. I'm wasting my leaf on them. Stay back! Stay back! Stay back! Stay back! Stay back! Okay, this isn't doing anything. Looks like I gotta waste my spear. Got it. A torch! Nice! I can light it up. Yes! Arrows! Is that a better arrow than I have? Heck yeah, baby. Changing that. Let's go. Piling shrooms. Let's go. Okay, here we go. I found the old man. I finally found the old man. All right, so now I need to ask him how can I make stuff. I need to make stuff, please. Let's get off my prey like that. At least crouch down a bit. How do I crouch? First, crouch down and push your prey quietly to an quiet, quietly, quietly. Sure, you will not be noticed. Bro, are you not going to tell me anything useful or related to making food? Scratch up on him. Okay, oh well, that was that was for nothing. I shouldn't have just scratched up on him. Maybe I should just take him out right now. There we go. Oh, free meat! Heck yeah. I'll take that. Raw meat! Heck yeah. Stole it from you, boy. Take that. Don't you dare blow that horn, you bro. Bro, weapon. If you say so. If you say so. Bro, I, I threw it. And it did nothing. Well, I'm not wasting my spear, so I'm just gonna. That control almost fell on the ground, actually. Opal! Alright, so right now what we need to find ourselves is some fish. I need to go fishing right now. 
need to go find a lake. I'm far away from the biggest lake, the river of the... Okay, we're not going to the river of the lake. We need to go to that lake then. What is this old man doing? He took out my flame, bro. Bet. You think what I'm thinking? Come on. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Burn! 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 Oh. into real life too very nice so that's a fountain over there i think i'm going the wrong way again yeah i'm going the wrong way so i need to keep going in this direction i should find the lake again where i saw a fish in the first episode ha target acquired steady fire mother steady Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, now, do I have any spicy? <gasps> I do. Wait a minute. Can I make it now? I wonder. Can I make the thing now? Can I make the thing that gives me more that can give me the thingy? At this point, at this point in time, this is just one of those games that you play when you want to chill. It's one of those games where you just want to relax, kick back, have some fun. You guys know what I'm saying? It's one of those games you just want to just sit back, relax, have a good time with. I'm not wasting my arrows on them, so I'm just gonna sneak past quietly. I'm still super loud. How? Okay, guys, so this part is basically me just trying to get the armor that keeps me warm in the, um, the mountains. And basically, I'm just gonna try and find the, uh, place where I have to cook the food. Um, just keep in mind, I'm gonna be skipping through a lot of parts so we can get to the actual open world of Hyrule. So, just to let you know, I'm gonna be skipping through a lot of parts through this whole first, like, ten minutes of the playthrough. I mean, episode part two. What? What am I talking about? Oh, not this part. I'm not skipping out this part. Easy. He does it like. Doing great. Doing great. He won't even look at you. Stay still and he won't even see you. Mother. For sure. Ha 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 ha! Ah ha ha ha! Much, much, much later. Alright, dude. Tell me the recipe. <laughs> Breath of the wild food recipes. While I look up the recipe for this piece of food in Breath of the Wild, did you know they have a Discord server for my channel? Uh, yeah, you should probably join it. You know, the link's in the card up in the top right corner. You can just click in the description below. Alright, so it said spicy pepper. Hold one of these at a time. Okay, cook it. If this doesn't work! Oh! But how did you? I'm a master chef, baby! I'm Gordon Ramsay! Now please allow me to award your culinary efforts with this warm duplet! Yes! Put the jacket on, baby, let's put it on! Ah, oh, heck yeah, baby! Let's go! So we're not going to eat the food until we actually get up there, because I don't want to waste it. Also, I have no way to get over there, unless I want to climb over there again. So literally my only option is to climb over there again. Can't waste my stamina. Please make it. Link, please make it. I'm counting on you. Link, I'm counting on you. If I die, it's on you. Okay. I need to save. Because I'm not losing my progress. Speed round, baby!
See? Tell you I'd make it. So when I climb up here, I should not be freezing to death. Also, I should probably eat some food so I don't die. A few minutes later. So we must head in this direction so we can find the great shrine that we must get, which is the last one we need. Okay, so I can't swim across here because I'm going to die. So I might as well forget about the boat. I might as well just walk around. Although, this seems like my only option. But I might have to swim. Let me do this, because I don't want to lose all this progress so far. So let me do that, and now let me go for it. And I was right, I should have saved, because I would have drowned and died, like I just did. But maybe the bridge isn't out over here. Oh no, it's out over here too, right? Yeah, it's out there too. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting over there. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare freeze me to death, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not dying today. We're not dying today. Come on, come on, bro. Come on. We're not dying today. I'm not dying, alright? I'm not. I've, I've died once. I can only afford one death in the video. Wait. Is the bridge not out? The bridge isn't out. I'm getting cross. Heck yeah. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to. Oh no, no! Get up, get up, get up, get up. No. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Hey, at least I got some wood though. Don't know what I can do with wood. Chicken. You're mine now. Poultry. Give it to me. What the chicken? Robert Drumstick! Alright, this time we won't freeze to death. Bro, come on. Oh my gosh. How do I freeze to gosh darn death? So now we gotta figure out how I'm gonna get across the oh my gosh. As I'm narrating, you literally have to stop. No, I'm not we're not do we're not doing this. No, we're not doing this. Not today, not the next day. We're not doing this today. I'm not dying. I've already done two deaths, alright? After that, no more. So now, we need to figure out how I'm going to get across that bridge. Because last time, I just decided to sprint for it. Which is obviously not the right solution. So what I need to do is I need to figure out how I'm going to get onto that part of the bridge. But also, motherfucker. Alright, I might be able to jump for it. Go, go, go. Link! Climb, cling, climb. Uh. Okay, now that I'm back, let me go ahead and save this time so I don't have to start all the way back from the beginning again. Gosh! How do I get across here? Because I can't glide. <laughs> oh, is this going to work? It works! It worked! Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it, boys. Are we going to do it? Oh, we're gonna do it? Oh, let's go. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna make it? Oh, I should probably say it. That's probably a smart gamer move. Big brain moment. Bell save, even though not big brain moment, because I thought of doing it five seconds later. Right up this mountain. Right up this mountain. The last shrine that I can meet up with the cane himself. The man. The myth. The legend. <laughs> yes. We found it. We finally found it! <laughs> what do we get? I can't read that because my camera stand is in the way. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What gets at me now, brother? What gets at me now? Can't stop me now. Can ya? 
I know. <laughs> Catch me now, brother. Yeah, what are you gonna do about that, you little guy? Huh? You're so stupid. And now, all I need to do is go see the king in the palace, and then we are free to wander as we please. Oh! Charles Marsden? With this, you have now acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... I have come to inform you that my Halloween marathon will be occurring on October 28th to October 31st every day, all day, where I'll be playing Fights and Freddy's while eating bean boozled jelly beans and also playing horror games like Welcome to the G- <coughs> I try to say that all in one sentence while I'm um, trying to seem as scary as possible with a flashlight. Apparently the, the flashlight idea was just dumb. But yeah, October 28th, October 31st, I'll be doing a Halloween marathon while I'll be playing some scary games like Welcome to the Game 1 and 2, Phasmophobia, Scrutinized, Fights and Freddy's, Security Breach, and the Fights and Freddy's games. While Ian being Bill's little jelly beans, which is probably going to be a huge mistake, I'll be also be doing multiplayer sessions where I'll be playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and Mario Kart and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, while also um, possibly playing Sonic the EXE, which probably be the worst mistake of my life. So if you want to see me get jump scared, possibly make this the worst decisions of my life, while also being scared and also playing Backrooms, backrooms horror games, um, yeah, make sure you tune into that. Um, it's going to be lots of fun on Halloween, and I hope you're going to be there, because it's going to be tons of fun. So I hope you just... Where my light go? Where'd my light go? There we go. I was wondering why my flashlight wasn't working. This that, that was so weird. I don't know why it wasn't working. Oh no. Understand where the two of us are. I thought. Child boss is ghost! Ah! Ghost! Oh! There she is, boys. Right there. Right there is where I need to go, inside of that room, right there. Five minutes later. Oh, wait a minute. Was it all that simple? I'm about to walk right right now, is that all that- ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! There she is. The moments we've all been waiting for. It's dead ahead! Onward, Link! So all I gotta do is climb up there. Although I'd probably use my spirit orb so I can get some health, probably. Yeah, I might do that first, actually. I might go ahead and get some health first. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed this spirit orb. I can offer you great power. Yes. Yes! Plot time! <laughs> well done there, young one. Thank you, Charles Marson. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly Manson. am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. The longest name that has I ever was existed. The last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> it's not Charles Manson. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo. A century ago, it was then that my life was taken away from me. I'm not gonna talk over this, even though I've seen this plot many time, times. Here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. <laughs> you tricked me into thinking think you were Charles you Manson! Ready, ready to hear what happened. One hundred years ago. <laughs> to know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. Oh, really? The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also prophecy <gasps> no 
The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. AKA your enemies. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. Oh yeah, that's on the volcano. We found the guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. Uh huh. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. Hold on a second. We selected four skilled individuals from Shout across the sure island and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. Hmm. The this. princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. What nay? <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Damn. I got wrecked. It's your fault! It's your fault! from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Which you dug up, hence your fault! The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely collapsed while defending the princess. Oh, how tragic. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. Which made it the open world apocalypse. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Yo, Zaza, you still single? <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't mean to ruin the moment, but come on now. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. Oh, how tragic. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. Oh yeah, I forgot. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. Why not? Shades, come on now! I suggest <laughs> that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. Kakariko? There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. 
Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. I, I will say, actually never mind, I won't, I won't say that, but... Yes. Yes. Yes! I will not die anymore like I did that one time! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. I told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. I don't know why I'm doing it. Some sort of weird accent. <laughs> Let's go ahead and soar into Hyrule and then we'll call it there first. How about that, huh? Let's soar off into Hyrule. Then we'll call it. What? Oh no, I forgot. Age of stamina. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yes. The moment has come. For us. To oh gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey now. Don't do it. Well, I think that's it. All right, all right. Oh, well, we made we made this far. I'm sure we'll get to Kakariko Village in the next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this long, boring video. Actually, I'm sure it wasn't boring. I'm sure I'm trying to make it. Hey, please do bear in mind. I am very sorry for the, if the editing has been all over the place. I haven't edited videos in a long time. So please do bear with me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more of my Breath of the Wild playthrough, leave that like rating down below and make sure you subscribe so you don't see, miss a single gosh darn video. I mostly cover Nintendo and Sonic content if you can't tell. If you can't tell. So, uh, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and, um, bye?